Okay, landslides. That's not a very good question, is it? Okay, I, 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 I'm not really familiar with these the landslides that have been going on in this board. Do you want to tell me about that? If there is any one particular issue that I could point to that um, would imply an absolutely um, inept leadership that does not have the public welfare in mind, it would be this issue of landslides. Imagine, if you will, you, you buy a piece of land, you have a house on this land, and for 12 years you have reoccurring landslides. Imagine now you find out that the city knew ahead of time that this was an unsafe design. They sent letters to the developer, and yet the developer did nothing. And landslides keep occurring year after year after year. You might ask yourself, well, who, who's been um, responsible for this area? Who's representing this area? Well, actually, um, the case that I'm talking about is the um, Lake Ridge neighborhood. Um, the developer will remain unnamed. And um, the representative for the entire 12 years that they've been having landslides has been Marsha Marku. Um, it's, it's interesting now, after 12 years of having these landslides, which endanger property, destroy property values, and as well as um, endangering lives. Um, after 12 years, the, the crowning accomplishment on this issue now is that Marsha's having meetings about it. Um, that's not going to stop the landslide. And I think meetings, there's a place for that, and that was about maybe 10 to 12 years ago when this issue was going on. We have to ask ourselves what's really going on, and the fact is that we have a City Council is far too beholden to developers' interests, um, even in cases where you have clearly inept or corrupt developers, as in this case. And it's not something that we should be tolerating as a city. I don't know of anyone in the city necessarily, well, maybe except for the developer himself, who's pro-landslide. Um, yet, this issue doesn't get resolved. Again and again, lives are in danger. Um, it happens again and again, and we do nothing, and we do nothing, and we do nothing. And time to stop talking, time to stop having meetings, time for the city, city to step up to the plate, show some leadership, show a little gumption, and do what is necessary. This is not a person, this developer, that we need to be negotiating with at this point. It's not the appropriate time to be talking to neighbors. It's time for action, and it's probably time for action some time ago. But as long as Marsha Mark, who's been there, She's never done anything to address this. She's not seriously addressing it now. I'm the person who will come in and do something serious about it. Let me tell you how I take on a developer like this. Again, these are dramatic steps that I'm proposing. It's not something that I would do right away, but certainly 12 years is more than enough time. This developer was told while he was building it that the grading was not up to par. It was not acceptable. And yet they went ahead and did it anyways. And somehow he got permits from the city, which is an entirely... It's another case of absolute neglect on the part of the city that this even happened in the first place. But what's done is done, and now we have some people that have an issue that have to be taken care of. And um, my thought is, first of all, the developer has to fix this. He has to fix it now. He has to fix it correctly. He has to fix it permanently. And he has to do it without one penny of taxpayer assistance. This is entirely on him. Here's how we're going to do it. We're going to go in there, and we're going to tell him you have 90 days. After 90 days, you will have an approved plan to permanently fix this. Um, there is no negotiation. This is what it's going to be. After 90 days, we are going to essentially shut you down. Your business will not be able to buy or sell any land whatsoever. Zero zip zilch. You will not be able to get a building permit. Anyone associated with the development, you're not going to, if you want to put up an outhouse, forget it. You're not even getting a building permit to do that. Nothing. After 90 days, you are shut down unless the appropriate amount of money and the plan is in place to fix this. But that's not all we do. We go even further. We say, after 180 days, um, anyone building on your land is not going to be able to sell or get their permits. Um, let's give them pressure from another avenue. Um, this is absolutely unacceptable. This is not a quality person. This is not a quality developer. This is not somebody who has the public interest in mind. And yet the city council keeps letting them get away with this. How is that? How can a city council be that grossly inept on this issue? And it comes down to, look who we voted for. We've had Marsha Marcu in office this entire time, and absolutely nothing has happened. We need somebody who will actually stand up for the people who are getting absolutely robbed in this situation, who are in danger, and are seeing absolutely nothing done. We need dramatic action. The time for talking is done is done with. It's time for action. We need somebody who's serious about addressing this issue, somebody who's not going to let it fall through the cracks yet again, and I'm that person. I will take this head on, and I am not in the I am not interested in negotiation in the standpoint. I want to get this fixed, and I want to get it fixed now. Actually, I want to get it fixed 10 years ago, but unfortunately, we haven't had that leadership in place. But we can change that. Go out and vote on September 9th. Let's get this taken care of.